Oh man, I can't wait to watch Charlie and Friends. It's my favorite show ever. Time for Charlie. Who likes Charlie? We like Charlie. Everybody loves some Charlie. Who got Charlie? Where is Charlie? There is Charlie. He got everything that you need. He likes to eat food and stuff. But Charlie, he is, he's awesome. Here's the Charlie and Friends show. Do, 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 do. Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. Oh, hi, guys. I'm Charlie. And today, I'm going to drive this car blindfolded. <laughs> what could go wrong? Drive blindfolded? That's so dangerous! <laughs> huh? Breaking news, McKay. Famous TV actor from the hit TV show Charlie and Friends has been arrested for reckless driving. He was driving blindfolded and hit a family of six, injuring everyone in the vehicle. What? Charlie's in jail? There will never be another new episode of Charlie and Friends! <laughs> Alright, zebra cakes, are you white with black stripes or black with white stripes? <laughs> Boss, what are you doing? Oh, Charlie just got arrested. <laughs> Wait, so you're crying because your favorite TV show character is in jail? Yes! And I don't think I'll ever stop crying! <laughs> God, he's so annoying! Oh. Ugh, Joseph, I'm so bored! Me too, dude! Guys, 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 guys. What is it, Cody? My mom bought me three tickets to a dinosaur monster truck rally on ice. A dinosaur monster truck rally? On ice? Yeah, it's dinosaurs driving monster trucks on ice. Oh my god, that's so awesome! Yeah, dude, I gotta go! Oh, are they real dinosaurs? Well, I mean, it's obviously just guys in dinosaur costumes driving monster trucks, but there's no way they can see out of those costumes. Someone's gonna die. Oh, I'm only going if someone dies, dude. Yeah, I wanna see someone die. Well, I heard at their last show in Denver, a monster truck plowed into the stands and killed 18 people. Oh, we're totally gonna die. Yo, we're definitely gonna die, dude. Oh, hold on, hold on. What row are we? Row one, baby! Oh, we're gonna die! <laughs> Road kill! Oh, okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Come on, let's go. Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, hold on. I gotta ask my dad. <laughs> I don't have parents. Lame. Oh, okay, hold on. Look, my dad's gonna let me go because my dad loves to see me happy. <laughs> oh, Charlie, I'm so sad. <laughs> um, hey, dad. Uh, hey, dad. I know you're crying, but um, I gotta ask you something, Dad. What do you want, Junior? Um, so my friends have tickets to Dinosaur Monster Truck Rally on Ice, and we're really hoping the monster truck will like jump in the stands and kill us. So can I go? No, you can't go. If I'm not happy, then you're not happy. Well, why are you unhappy, Dad? Because Charlie's in jail, and I'm not gonna be happy until he's out of jail. Um, okay. <sighs> what a long face, buddy. What'd your dad say? He said no. <laughs> What's wrong with your dad, dude? Yeah, I didn't know he was such a square. Well, he only said no because he's sad. Why is he sad? Because his favorite TV show character, Charlie, got arrested. Ooh, for what, dude? I don't know. Ooh, I'm gonna look it up. Oh my god. What, what'd he do? It says he was driving blindfolded and he crashed into a minivan with a family of six in it. Ooh, did they die? No, they just all sprained their ankles really bad. Aww. But still, that's so stupid. You know, he's young, he's a millionaire, he has his whole life ahead of him, and he threw it all away because he decided to drive impaired. Well, my dad said he's only going to be happy when Charlie gets out of jail. Oh, Junior, he's not getting out of jail anytime soon. He's going to be in there for at least five days. Five days? Well, I was hoping that if Charlie got out, my dad would be happy enough to let me go to the monster truck rally. Well, he's not getting out tonight. Night, Junior. But look, the monster truck rally doesn't start for another two hours, so you have until then to convince your convince your dad to let you go. You know, you know that's what I meant to say. But my brain decided to shut down. Yeah, I can tell. Well, listen. Okay, so we have two hours. <gasps> what if we break Charlie out of jail? Okay, and then we bring him here, and then my dad meets Charlie, and he's so happy he'll let me go to the monster truck rally. Junior, that's a lot of work to go through just to see dinosaurs driving monster trucks on ice. Well, Cody, when will I ever see dinosaurs driving monster trucks on ice again? I mean, probably never. I'm pretty sure this is their last show. I mean, they have a lot of lawsuits going on because a lot of people have died, and I mean, it's pretty crazy if you think about it. It's just literally people in dinosaur costumes driving monster trucks on ice. It's a total shit show. 
Like they're gonna jump the ramp, and when they land, they can't use the brakes because of the ice, and they're just gonna plow into the stands and people are gonna die. It's gonna be really short. I have to go to that. Yeah, it does sound awesome. Okay, so guys, who's with me to break Charlie out of jail tonight? Uh, you guys have fun breaking Charlie out of jail. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the to the mustard truck rally and take my seat. J J J Joseph, give me some popcorn. P popcorn? He didn't hear me. Oh, Cody, will you please help me break Charlie out of jail? I have to go to this monster rally. I don't know. Pretty please. With what on top? Pretty please with a cherry on top. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll do it. Oh, okay, let's go. Okay, so my plan is we're going to go to the jail. We're going to go to the visitation hours for Charlie, and then we're going to break him out. Oh, oh, I know. I know. I could, tie, I could hide a key up my butt. I'll hide a key up your butt? Yeah. I mean. You think that'll help? I mean, I guess. Well, it's already up there, so I'll just do that, and we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> All right, there he is, Charlie, the criminal. Now you guys get five minutes of visitation, but no funny business. I got my eyes on you. All right, Cody, we have to break him out quick. <laughs> hey, psst, Charlie. Oh. Hi, guys. I'm Charlie. And today, I'm in jail. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you talked like that all the time. Yeah, it's really weird. Hey, Charlie, we want to help you. You want to help me? Well, I haven't had my one phone call today. I don't have my cell phone. <laughs> That's pretty good. Where's the laughing coming from? I don't know. Look, 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 Charlie, we want to help you break out of here. Help me break out? I'm not a genie in a lamp. Uh, now I see why he has writers. Yeah, no, no, we want to help you break out of jail. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. No, 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 we want to help you break out of jail. Look, 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 look. So this is what we want to do. So we want you to fake like you're sick. And then we're going to tell the guard that you're really sick. He's going to open up the, the, the cell, and then when he gets in here, we're going to knock him out, and you're going to escape with us. Sounds like a plan. All right, all right let's, go get, let's go get the guard. Okay. Guard, guard, guard! What, what is it? Did he want you to sneak him something in your butt? No. Oh, well then what is it? Uh, Charlie is really sick. You have to go check on him. Take care of him. What, take care of him? I'm not his little mommy. You're in jail. Get over it. Well, no, no, no. I, I think Charlie might die. He's, like, really sick. He, he might die. Oh, man. He'd be the third person to die in here this week. All right, fine. I'll just check on him. All right, Charlie, act like you're sick. Oh, oh, oh my stomach hurts so bad. I'm pooping so much. Oh. Oh, man, Charlie, you don't even have your pants down. He's pooping in his pants. Well, well shouldn't you go in there and change him? What, change him? No, he's a grown-ass man. Oh, I keep pooping. Oh. Yeah, you, you should definitely change him. All right, I'll, I'll at least try to change him. Let me unlock this. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. These aren't the cell keys. These are my car keys. I drive a Hyundai Sonata in stormy sea blue. <laughs> it's sick. Well, can you just like let him out? You see this button right here? I can make my car back up without even being inside. Well, you should really like open the cell. We should go check on him. Uh, well, I can't do it with these. I'm gonna have to put these down. Uh, these are the cell keys. Well, hurry up and open it. Get it open. <laughs> All right, poopy pants, take those clothes off. Take my clothes off? You have to take me to dinner first. <laughs> Where the hell is that laugh track coming from? He's in solitary confinement. There's no one around. Yeah, it's really weird. So, hey, uh, if you don't want to change his poopy pants, I'll do it. Really? You'd do that for me? Yeah, it doesn't seem like you want to do it. No, I really don't like wiping grown men's poopy butts. Okay, you can do it. Okay, so, uh, if you just cover your eyes for, like, five minutes, I'll change his pants. You know what? I'm gonna trust you, because you definitely don't seem like the kind of person who would break him out of jail, then take him home to your dad, because your dad's his biggest fan, and then harbor a fugitive for a while until I randomly come search your house. What? No, no, I would never do that. Uh, I know you wouldn't, buddy. I'm gonna cover my eyes now. Okay, uh, come on, Charlie. Let's go change your pants. Escape, escape, escape. Run, 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 run. <laughs> you know, it uh, sure sounds like I was wrong about you. All right, Charlie, this is my house. Oh, wow. A lot better than the place we were just at. Why are they laughing? That wasn't that funny. I think they laugh at everything he says. All right, Charlie, I need you to meet my dad. Okay. Come on. Oh, Dad, we have a surprise for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Dad? Dad? Where are you, Dad? Your dad must have left when you were five years old. My mind did. Well, no, 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 I promise he was here. Sure he was, little one. No, oh, no, no, let's go ask Chef Pee Pee. Chef who now? Oh, man, I can't wait to eat my applesauce. Come on, get in there. God. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. What do you want, Drew? You're trying to eat this applesauce. Why don't you just use a normal spoon? Because all the spoons are dirty, Cody. Well, why don't you just pour the applesauce into the ladle and eat it out of that? Shut up, Cody. God. Um, Chef Pee Pee, do you know who my dad is? Oh, yeah, your dad is so depressed. I think he said he was going to a monster truck rally to get ran over by a truck? Whoa, 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 what? So your dad would have died to his monster truck on ice? Yeah, yeah, that's it. But Cody, my dad went to the monster truck rally. Well, that means we can just go. He won't know. Okay, then let's go. Screw the whole Charlie thing. Okay. Come on, Cody, we gotta go. Where are you guys going? Oh, uh... I forgot he was here. Yeah, um, so we're going to a monster truck rally. 
Ooh, can I come? Uh, we don't have enough tickets. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so go hide somewhere in the house. Ooh, I love hide and seek. Come on, Cody, hurry, we're gonna be late. Hey. Uh, hello, officer. Don't hello, officer me. You broke my trust, and now I'm mad. I'm really mad, and you wouldn't like me when I'm mad, because I throw things and I say things I don't mean, ugly face. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. You're actually kind of cute. Uh, officer, I didn't lie to you. Charlie broke out of jail on his own. Oh, so you're telling me you didn't break Charlie out of jail and then bring him back to your house to show your dad because your dad's his biggest fan just so you could go to some kind of monster truck rally with dinosaurs and ice? No. Well, that's what it looks like to me. Hmm? No. Oh, no, no, I promise that's not what happened. Charlie is not in this house. You promise? I promise. You pinky promise? I pinky promise. Okay. I guess I believe you. Wait a minute, is that a laugh track? That, that means he's here, he's telling jokes, and that means you lied to me. I'm gonna go look for him. Oh, okay, Cody, while he looks for Charlie, let's go to the monster rally. No, 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 you don't. You're not, f my hat. Here you go, officer, here's your hat. What? Thank you. You know what? You can go. I like you. Thanks. Wait, he gets to go? Yeah, because I like him. He got my hat. People don't do that kind of thing anymore. But I don't like you because you lied to me. Twice. Well, I didn't mean to lie. I mean, I didn't lie. He's not here. Can I go to the monster rally? No, you and me are going to go look for Charlie in your house. Now, come on. <sighs> Okay. All right, now where could Charlie be? I'm telling you, he's not in this house. I don't believe you anymore, liar. Hmm. Oh, I know how to make Charlie come out. Time for Charlie, who likes Charlie? We like Charlie. Everybody loves some Charlie. Who's got Charlie? Where's Charlie? There's Charlie! Oh, dang it, he got me. What? You lied three times, triple liar. Uh, Come here, Charlie. Uh, ah! All right, Charlie, you're going back to jail for five days. No, my butt can't handle jail. Well, you should have thought about that before you drove blindfolded. Yeah. Come on. Well, maybe I can still make the monster truck rally. Man, that monster truck rally was amazing. Oh, it was totally awesome. I loved it. Wait, you guys are back? The monster truck rally ended already? Yeah, it ended early because people died. Yeah, a monster truck flew over our head and it killed the people in the row behind us. Yeah, the tires missed our head by like an inch. Those people are so lucky. Oh, man, I had a blast, Junior. I even forgot Charlie was locked up. And I missed all that? Yeah, sucks to be you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Dad, while you were gone, Charlie was in the house. What did I tell you about Lonnie? Hi, Junior. You're grounded. Oh, little low face, buddy. So, guys, what do you want to do today? I really want to dress up like a woman today. Dude, me too. Let's play playtime. Yeah. This dinner looks delicious, honey. Yeah, all thanks to mommy. Now say thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, I'm getting a call. Uh, hello? Hey, I need you to come to my car. <laughs> all right, Big Daddy, I'm on my way. All right, mommy gotta go make some more money for these damn bills. Be good, okay? Dad, where's mom going? She's gonna go sleep with my ex-boss for money. Oh, well, what are you doing? Letting her. <laughs> All right, Mr. Moneybags, how are we doing it this time? Should I get the whipped cream? No, you're fired. What? Fired? Yeah, I found a girl that can do it better and cheaper. Her name's Veronica. It's like harmonica, but with a V. But how am I going to pay my bills? Not my problem. I'm about to bang Veronica on the hood of my Jeep. <laughs> come on, Veronica, take this missionary. Uh, uh, come on, stupid ketchup. Uh. Dad, the ketchup's fake. <laughs> Homeless? I thought you had a job. No, I got fired. How do you get fired from slobbing knob? I suck at it. I thought that was the point. You know, if she was good at slobbing knob, our marriage would still be together, right, Sally? Dad? Oh, if you had a job, I wouldn't have to slob knob. If you slob my knob, I'd probably get a job. <laughs> Dr. Seuss had ass. Wait. Sally, you go to your room and eat your vegetables. Wait, but if mom doesn't have a job, does this mean we can't afford my violin lessons? Fuck your violin lessons! You suck ass anyway! Hey, she was gonna be the best violinist! Her grandfather was a good violinist! Her grandfather was ass just like you! No, my grandfather was the best violinist in all of Paris and he went down with the Titanic! He could barely pull a fucking string! Okay, that's it. I'm leaving this house. I want nothing to do with you and I want nothing to do with you. I'm leaving and I'm gonna go start my own family. What? You're leaving? <laughs> Mom, are you okay? Oh, what's happening now? Are you faking having a heart attack? Ugh, I'll take her to the hospital. Ooh. Stop acting.
acting like that. The doctor will be here in a second. Hi there. Welcome to the hospital. What seems to be the problem? I'm in so much pain, doctor. Let me check your heartbeat. Oh. Yeah, bitch, there. Oh, my ovaries. Check my ovaries, doctor. Let me see. Oh. Ma'am, it looks like you have a penis. Patrick, we're pretending. Oh, that's a very big vagina you have there, ma'am. Oh, thanks, doctor. Oh. I think she's going to be okay. No, 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 doctor. I need you to take me to the exam room. For what? Oh, that sounds crazy. Hold on, I have to take her to the exam room for further um examination. <laughs> <laughs> What's taking them so long? <sighs> well, after some very strenuous tests, we've determined that your wife is very sick. Very, very sick. Sick in the head. Well, what's wrong with her, doctor? She has cancer of the vagina. The worst type of cancer. And she's also probably pregnant. I mean, maybe. <laughs> She fucking should be. Well, pregnant? Well, what if it's not even my kid? Uh, tell him about the DNA test, doctor. Let me swab your mouth. Uh, I mean, um, we did the DNA test. It's your kid. Yep, what? you the daddy, bitch. What? We're having another kid. Yeah, we're gonna have another kid, Junior. <laughs> the medical bills are gonna be very expensive from your chemo and also your baby. Oh, oh, baby, listen, I'll get five jobs if I have to. I'll wait on you hand and foot. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of your cancer and the new kid. I'll be a perfect husband, I promise. Really? You're the dream husband all he's wanted? We're gonna fix our marriage. This, this right now, we're gonna be a perfect couple. I'm gonna go look for five jobs. <laughs> okay, baby. Oh, thank you, doctor, for lying for me. Okay, but you owe me round two. <laughs> Oh, let's get it on then. Ooh, I could lose my medical license for this. <laughs> Mama Mia, so what makes you want to work for Papa Murphy? Well, Papa Murphy, my wife has cancer and she's also pregnant. Oh, ravioli! She has a meatball in the oven and the oven has cancer! Yeah, so I really need a job to pay for the medical bills. Oh, dang, that sucks. I guess Papa Murphy has to have a heart. I'll hire you. Uh, do you know how to ride a bike, though? Yes, I know how to ride a bike. Okay, so get delivering these pies! I thought I was delivering pizzas, not pies. P pies is Italian for pizza, duh! And it it's also a mathematical equation. <laughs> okay, I'll start delivering the pizzas. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for the job. I won't let you down. <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> beep, beep! Get out of the way, you fucking loser! Sorry, I'm on a bike delivering pizzas. Honey, look. That's a fucking loser. <laughs> Hey, knock a little harder next time. I almost didn't hear you. Pizza time. Oh, how much? Twenty dollars. Oh, here you go. Wait, no tip? Yeah, here's a tip. Get a better paying job. <laughs> well, my wife has cancer. Okay, here's another tip. Tell your wife to get better jeans. <laughs> uh, um, sir, my, my twenty dollars is underneath your door. Sir, the, the money for the pizza is under the door. I don't give a shit. But I won't be able to... My boss is going to fire me if I don't have that money. I so... don't give a shit. Okay, can you... Oh, I'm going to be so fired and my wife's cancer is going to get worse. Please, sir. What part of I don't give a shit do you not understand? I'm going to throw my bike at your door. Don't do that. That was my bike. Fuck you. Okay. Another round. Coming right up. You better not throw your fucking... You I, your bike? I missed it. But this hey, time, asshole, what are you doing? Hey, fuck you, man! Yo, fuck you! I'm furious, you, you little buddy. bitch! No, Keep no! Fucking twenty dollars. Now, where's your wife at? Yeah, no, she's gonna have a real penis. I'll have one. <sighs> was extremely rude and said some very hurtful things to me and my wife and then and he, he wouldn't even pay for the pizza i mean he paid for it but the money was on the ground and i tried to i don't want to hear it you're making papa murphy look bad i need my damn mozzarella i promise you'll get your mozzarella papa murphy i, I won't let this happen again <sighs> look i'm gonna let it slide this time since you have a kid on the way and stuff but the next time you make a mistake i'm gonna shovel lasagna up your ass you got me i understand papa murphy i need this job nothing bad will ever happen again <sighs> i hope not look we got one more delivery deliver this damn pie and bring back my money. I need my cash. You got me? Okay, I will bring back cash. I promise. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> All right, don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. Hello? Excuse me, ma'am. I have your pizza here for you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Uh-oh. I don't have any money to 
to pay you. Uh oh, you're not getting your fucking pizza. Wait, 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 wait. What if there's another way I can pay you? Um, I think we accept credit card if you pay online. No, is there any other way I can pay you, big boy? Uh, well, I think your pizza came with U.S. average size sausage. Well, you better bring that sausage in here. Uh, think of your wife. She has cancer. Think of the new kid. I don't care. I want it. <laughs> Oh man, that was totally not worth possibly losing my job over. Well, it was worth it for the pizza for me. The post nut clarity is kicking in, I gotta go. What, what the hell is going on here? Annabelle, you're cheating on me with the pizza boy? Only once, and we got free pizza. But baby, I got pizza earlier. Well, now we have more for later. Okay, I'm not mad at you, but you, you banged my girlfriend and you threw a bike at my door. Knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh god, well I guess both my heads got pounded today. Oh, my boss is gonna kill me. Oh, I'm gonna show you with my cash! I need my money right now! Uh, Julia, where's my money? Well, sir, I delivered the pizza and they gave me the money and then I was riding my bike and this guy, he came out with a baseball bat and he robbed me and he beat the shit out of me! Julia, does it look like I'm hungry right now? No. Why are you feeding me? They, they, they robbed me. That's why I had the money. It was stolen. I don't want to hear that. Let me smell it. Smell what? What, what the hell are you doing? Oh, sardines. What? Yeah, I knew it. And you smashed the girl so she wouldn't have to pay for a pizza. How would you know that? Because I used to be a delivery boy. I used to come home smelling like sardines every night. I used to live that life. Oh, oh where's my money, Julian? You know what? You know what? Where's my chainsaw? What chainsaw? Yeah, I'm about to cut that pair girl off. Oh, no, no, I promise. I'll pay you back. I promise. Oh, you better bring me my money. You got 24 hours. Bring me my shit. No, I'm no. cutting it. Goodman Bank and Trust. Hey, you're the fucking loser on the bike. What are you doing in my bank? I'm looking for a loan. Well, you better look somewhere else. We don't give out loans to losers who only have a fucking bike as their only means of transportation. Look, man, I'm desperate. I don't have a job. Oh, even more of a reason for me not to give you a loan. You basically just told me that your credit score is a two. Look, my wife's pregnant and she has cancer. Even more of a reason for me not to give you a loan. I'll do anything for money, please. I'll do anything for a loan. Well, do you have anything to put up for collateral? I have a house. Well, how much do you owe on the house? It's paid off. Oh, yes, that. How much money do you need? Uh, about $10,000. That'll solve all my problems. Oh, perfect. Here you go. A $10,000 collateral loan. If not paid back by the end of the month, I take your fucking house. Okay, deal. I promise I'll pay this back. I fucking doubt it. All right. Thank you so much, sir. You're not going to regret this. Oh, I already don't. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bet $10,000 on black and solve all my problems. Welcome to Goodman Casino. Wait, you own the casino too? Yep, I love money. All right, well, I'm gonna bet the $10,000 I got a loan from you for on black and double my money so I can pay you back and pay off all my problems. All right, but if you lose, I get your house and the money. Oh, okay, well, I'm not gonna lose because I got a 50-50 chance and I, I think it's gonna be black. All right, let's see. I, I bet on black. I know, I'm not fucking retarded. What color is it? What color is it? What is that? It's red. Red 36. You fucking lose. Wait, I, I lose all that money? Yep, and I get to take your house. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. I'm coming to pick up my house tonight. Well, no, 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 please. No, please. I lost everything. My wife has cancer. She's pregnant, and now I'm going to lose my house. <laughs> Hey, Richard, you still have to let me back in my real house. Mark, come on, fuck. Oh, man, Mom. This chalupa from Taco Bell sure does look good. I can't wait to have watery diarrhea later. Anything for my baby. Mom, why are you bald? You look like Will Smith's wife. Oh, don't tell you, Daddy, but I lied and said I had cancer. And I had to shave my head to make it look real. Oh, and I might be pregnant, but I'm not sure about that. Wow, Mom, that's really fucked up. Hey, it's life, nigga. Deal with it. Eat your little chalupa. Wait a minute, did I just hear what I think I heard? <gasps> Julia, 
Junior, what are you doing home so early? Well, I got home after a really rough day, and I just heard you lie and say you're faking your cancer. No, 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 the cancer's real. You know, that the chemotherapy made me delirious and loopy and stuff. No way in hell, because I just lost the house because I went and got a collateral loan for $10,000, and I lost at the casino trying to double it because I owed Papa Murphy $20, and now we're going to lose the house all because you faked your cancer diagnosis. What? You lost the house? Yeah, now we're going to be homeless. But my violin lessons. Fuck your violin lessons. I hate this. I can't believe you lose you're the house. Whore. You're What's a fucking you sludger, you stupid bitch. Idiot. You bald head and bald bitch. Give me that pecker. Oh, that's Papa Murphy. I told you I owed him $20. Papa Murphy? He's going to come and pick her up. Oh, well, Papa Murphy was gonna cut my wiener off because I owe him 20 bucks because instead of getting money for a pizza delivery, I ended up banging the girl that ordered the pizza. So then I got a $10,000 collateral loan on the house that me and Joseph own. And with that $10,000, I bet at a casino and I lost it all. So we're about to lose the house. Well, now your friends have to go home for making all that damn noise. Okay, I'll see you later, guys. Okay. It was just getting good. Right, Cody, you go first. Okay. Oh, this is so lame. Yeah, it is. You guys want to go to a real bowling alley? Yeah, I love bowling. Dude, you know I love bowling. Well, I don't want to go to a bowling alley to bowl, you silly twats. Well, what else do we do at a bowling alley? Eat cheese sticks. They have cheese sticks? Ooh, cheese sticks are good. Do they have cheese sticks? They have the best cheese sticks in the county. And you get a deal. Four cheese sticks for $4.73. That's more than a dollar per cheese stick. I know. That's how good they are. It's like an explosion of mozzarella in your mouth. Sometimes, I like to take four cheese sticks and bite the tips off and let all the cheese drain into my mouth. It's like cheese bukkake. Oh, God, you make me hate cheese sticks. I think we should at least go try them if they're that good. I have a bad description, dude. I mean, I think we should try it. Well, let's make sure everybody has the money. I do. I do. I don't. Well, I have $10, Joseph, so if you drink this entire gallon of hand sanitizer, I'll give you the money for the cheese sticks. Oh, you're on, dude. Joseph, don't drink that hand sanitizer. Dude, it's just like a full-body cleanse. No, it's really not. It's for your hands. Well, I don't have $4.73. Well, I I already gave half my money to Joseph. Unless he's not gonna drink the hand sanitizer. Oh, I'm gonna drink you, dude. Well, why don't you just ask your dad? But what if he says no? Um, cry? Good idea. I'm on it. Get to drinking, Joseph. All right. Hey, Daddy. I don't want to eat my green beans, Daddy. Jeffy, what are you talking about? I need to borrow $4.73. Sell your toys. Marvin, you didn't even ask why he needs that money. <sighs> Jeffy, why do you need almost $5? So I can get some cheese sticks. You don't need to be eating cheese sticks. They're so greasy and unhealthy. You need to eat something like green beans. Well, I don't want to eat my green beans, Daddy. The answer's no. <laughs> $5. No, he needs to learn how to make money like an adult. Jeffy, do you want to make money? Stop that. You cut that out. You need to sell your toys if you want to make money. All right, fine. But when I get hit by a train, it's all your fault. What does the train have to do with selling toys? Okay, Cody, I'm going to take my turn while we wait for Jeffy. Okay, do it. I don't know why you need my approval. <laughs> Gutter ball. Dude, you suck, man. <laughs> Drink your fucking sanitizer. <laughs> hey, guys. What'd your dad say? He said no. Did you cry? Of course I did. And he still didn't give you the money? No, he told me I gotta sell my toys. What, sell your toys? Well, what kind of toys would we sell that we'd even make money from? All these toys are way too valuable. Well, you could sell that old eight ball. Oh, yeah, you could sell the eight ball. It doesn't work ever since I dared Joseph to drink the liquid that was inside it. Dude, you dare me to drink something, I'm gonna drink it. No matter what it is, I'm gonna go up that bitch down. Well, what? well, before we sell it, I think we should probably fill it up with some kind of liquid so that it actually works. And it has to be a dark liquid so it actually looks like the liquid inside an eight ball. Well, I have this Coca-Cola. He could fill the eight ball up with Coke. Oh, that would work. All right, Jeffy, fill the eight ball up with this so it actually works. Okay. All right, guys, I filled the eight ball full of Coke. Well, shake it to make sure it works. Well, hold on, hold on. I think we should ask the eight ball if it wants to be sold for cheese sticks. Good idea, Junior. Should we sell you for cheese sticks? As I see it, yes. Well, I'll sell that motherfucker, Jeffy. All right, Diddy. I found the toy I wanted to sell, Diddy. Jeffy, you have thousands of toys, and the only toy you want to sell is a stupid eight ball? Yeah, it's my eight ball full of Coke. What? Why are you calling it that? Well, because the eight ball was missing the liquid out of it, so I filled it out with Coca-Cola. Nobody's going to want to buy your stupid toy full of soda. Well, where do I sell it at? You can try to sell it at a pawn shop, I guess. Okay, Diddy. Stop talking like that. Officer Simmons, Officer Guard, get in here. 
Hey sir, me and Simmons are arguing again. So when we execute somebody by firing squad, only one of us has a real bullet, right? The rest are blanks? That's right. See Simmons, I told you we only get one real bullet. Well, can I have the real bullet? No, you're not supposed to know who has the real bullet. That way you don't feel bad for shooting someone. Oh, I won't feel bad. I want to shoot someone. Yeah, see, that's the problem, sir. I also want to shoot someone. So can we both please get real bullets? No, 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 that's not how it works. But sir, if he's going to die anyway, we might as well shoot him twice. It'd probably be quicker that way. Yeah, I'll shoot his head. And I'll shoot his heart. It's a win-win. Win. Look, boys, that's not why I called you in here. Now, there's this pawn shop that we believe has been buying and selling illegal narcotics. So we got a warrant from Judge Pooby for you boys to go in there and put a bug. And whenever you hear them talking about illegal activity, you go into that pawn shop and bust their asses. Well, sir, are you sure we have a warrant from Judge Pooby? Ask him yourself. Yes, I granted the warrant. Okay, good. It's always good to have a warrant, kids. But sir, if we bust this pawn shop, can me and Simmons please get real bullets next time we do a firing squad? I'll think about it. You hear that, Simmons? He's gonna think about letting us shoot somebody. Oh, goody. Come on. Hey, welcome to Gary's Goodies Pawn Shop. If we don't have it, for the right amount of money, I can get it. Wait, doesn't a dolphin usually run this place? Nah, he runs the pawn shop across the street. So what can I get for you? I have Tom Brady's Super Bowl rings. I have a Dragon Ball. I have the Pink Panther Diamond. Oh, I have this lovely Lady of the Night that's only been used twice by me. But for an extra surcharge, I can wash it for you. No, I'm good. Wait a minute. You guys aren't cops, are you? Because your outfits look like cop outfits. No, these are our Halloween costumes. It's February. Oh, darn. I thought it was October. Well, I guess we need a calendar so we know what month it is. All right. Well, let me go check the back to see if we have any calendars. Quick, Simmons. Plant the bug. Man, I'm really glad we have these bug-shaped microphones. Yeah, we don't have any calories in the bag. Oh, darn. Well, I guess we'll check Walmart. Thank you. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You left your weird bug-shaped thing on my counter. Oh, you know what? You can keep it. That's fine. Okay, shit. More product for me. All right, Simmons. Now we just have to sit here and listen until we hear some illegal activity going on. Hey, welcome to Gary's Goodies Pod Shop. If we don't have it... For the right amount of money, I can get it. Well, I got something to sell. Okay, what you got to sell? I got an eight ball of Coke. Holy shit, a whole eight ball of Coke? The street value of that's like $350, so I could probably give you like 300 right now for it. Okay. You hear that, Simmons? He's straight up buying an eight ball of cocaine from someone right now. We got him. Now let's see if they admit to anything else. All right, kid, let me see the Coke. All right, it's right here in this eight ball. Holy shit, you're telling me that eight ball is filled to the top with Coke? Yep, all the way to the top. That's way more than three and a half grams. That can't, that's gonna be a whole ass pound. That's like $45,000 worth of Coke. Listen, kid, I'll give you 30 grand for that right now. Okay, I can buy a lot of cheese sticks with that. Yes, you could. Holy shit, he's selling a pound of cocaine. That's distribution. And he said he's gonna buy cheese sticks for $30,000. That must be some kind of new street drug. All right, kid, here's your 30 grand. Pleasure doing business with you. And hey, if you wanna borrow my lady the night, you can free a charge. Okay. I think I will. I'm short of my daddy. All right. Well, I'm going to go bust this bad boy open and get all the coke out. Come on, Simmons. We got to go bust him. Go, 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 go. Uh, uh, Mike, can you unlock the door? What? It's not locked. It is locked. I can't open it. Well, hold on. Okay, I'll unlock it. I'm trying to open it. It won't open. What? You're, you're trying to open it as I'm pushing the button. No, I'm not. What? Simmons, stop, stop, stop. Just wait. Just wait. I got it. Okay. God damn it. All right. Time to pour my eight ball of coke into my father's coke jar. Wait a minute, what is this? This isn't coke. What is that, like black paw heroin? <gasps> I'm gonna be rich! Freeze, you're under arrest! For what? For buying a whole bunch of coke. We heard the whole thing, we bugged the place. Yeah, well I didn't buy a whole eight ball of coke because the eight ball was filled with this weird brown liquid. Let me see that. Oh, that's Coca-Cola. What? <laughs> you're telling me that I just spent 30 grand on an eight ball of Coca-Cola? <laughs> yeah, you did. But Simmons, this means we can't arrest him because he didn't actually buy any drugs. Yeah, you jerkwads! The only way you'd be able to arrest me is if I had an actual eight ball of coke that looks something like that right there. Get on the ground! All right, sir, we got him. Possession of cocaine. Right here. <laughs> Why is he crying? Because I just spent $30,000 on an eight ball of coca Cola. Yeah, some kid came in and scammed him. He gave him $30,000 and the kid said he was going to spend it on cheese sticks. Huh, $30,000 for cheese sticks? That doesn't sound right. It must be some new kind of drug. I need you officers to investigate that. Well, I got paperwork and I got to put this in the evidence drawer. I think I know where the kid lives, sir. I'll take care of it. So what happens to me now? Oh, you got a meeting with Big Bob. He's going to give you a cock meat sandwich. Again? 
All right, Danny, I sold my eight ball toy at the pawn shop. Yeah, what'd they give you, like 10 cents? $30,000. Wait, what? How? Jesse, who's your friend? Big Tidia, because she's got big titties. Wait, no, Jeffy, uh, this does not make any sense. Where'd you get that doll? The guy at the pawn shop gave her to me when I sold her my eight ball. Wait, 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 this is not making any sense. Why would the pawn shop give you $30,000 in cash and a doll for a broken eight ball toy with soda inside it? I don't know. The guy just really wanted the Coke that was inside. I guess he was really thirsty. Baby, this is not making sense. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have cheese sticks I have to go buy with my friends. Wait, wait, hold on. Can, can I have some of that money? No, because you didn't believe in me. Come on, baby. Big titty What? Baby, how did he get all that money? I don't know. All right, guys, I got $30,000 for cheese sticks. That's a little bit more than the $4.73 you needed. Well, come on, guys. Let's go to the bowling alley. I'm buying the cheese sticks. Yeah. Wait, dude, who is her? Big titty Yes, she is. Ah! All right, guys, come on. Let's go to the bowling alley. Wait, I don't think she want to go to the bowling alley. <laughs> I'm going to just go and show her the bathroom floor. <laughs> All right, wash her when you're done. Hey there. Wait, you can't just come inside my house without a warrant. Oh, man, you're right. And I was just talking about how important that is, too. Uh, can we just pretend I have a warrant? This is really important. No, you better leave unless you get a warrant. <sighs> okay. Judge Pooby, can I have a warrant? I'll allow it. Thank you. Okay, I have a warrant. Now, I think your son might be in big trouble. Me too. He's been acting very weird. Yeah, and I was doing a sting operation on a pawn shop earlier, and he came in and sold this guy an eight ball full of Coca-Cola for $30,000. Yeah, I know. I don't. That doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, and then he said he was going to spend that money on cheese sticks, and I'm worried that might be something dangerous. No, it's nothing dangerous. He just wants to buy cheese sticks from a bowling alley. Wait a minute. Who goes to a bowling alley just for cheese sticks? That seems fishy. Huh. If only I knew what cheese sticks really meant. Hold on, let me check the Urban Dictionary. They know everything. Okay, this first thing says cheese sticks are the best effing food in the world. I mean, that's true, but they don't cost $30,000. The second thing says it's a code word used by gangsters that means beer or alcohol. Okay, but still, alcohol doesn't cost $30,000. Now, this third thing says cheese stick. <gasps> it says cheese stick means unwashed penis. Oh, God, I'm so sorry to have to inform you of this, but I think your son might be spending $30,000 on unwashed penis. No, I don't think so. I think he's just going to the bowling lanes to buy cheese sticks. Oh, God, and he's going to the bowling alley where all the unwashed penis hangs out. No, no, he just wants the food cheese sticks. Oh, God, I really hope you're right. Okay, I'm just going to stay here, and when he comes back, I'm going to smell his breath. Daddy, I'm home, and I brought leftover cheese sticks. Let me smell your breath. <sighs> Hmm, huh. I guess it kind of smells like cheese stick. But then again, I don't really know what unwashed penis smells like. Here, get a whiff. Let me see. My God, it smells exactly the same. It smells like cheese stick, but how? Because I took one of the cheese sticks and rubbed it all over my unwashed wiener. Oh, well, I don't know. I guess I consider this case closed. I was going to have a cheese stick, but I don't know which one he rubbed on his wiener. Oh, I already ate that one. Oh, great. I guess I'll take this one. I dropped that one on the floor. You know what? I'm not going to have any. Wait, so he gets to keep all the money he took from the drug dealer? Yeah, he didn't do anything wrong, and the drug dealer's just stupid. Unless the drug dealer decides to escape from jail and get his revenge on Jeffy for scamming him. Ooh. No, no, that's probably not going to happen. We don't really do part twos. Unless. No, no, they, they probably don't want that. Unless you do. Hmm? Part two? Maybe? Tell us. I'm going to take one of these. I don't care. Come on, Cody. There's no way you think your pigeon driving a peanut's gonna beat my dinosaur driving a motorcycle. No way, Junior. There's no way your dinosaur driving a motorcycle is gonna beat my pigeon driving a peanut. Well, then let's go outside and run it. Well, come on, Junior. Whip it out if it's so big. Junior, Junior, Junior! Oh, thank God you're here, Penelope. I need you to settle an argument. Yes, I would totally choose the bear. What? There is no bear to choose from, Penelope. There's a dinosaur driving a motorcycle versus a pigeon driving a peanut. Oh, well, I guess the peanut is a bit more aerodynamic. Yes, thank you. You guys just like nuts in your mouth. Yes, I do. Junior, I have a a surprise for you. <gasps> you're gonna dye your hair blonde so you're attractive? What? Uh, nothing. Junior, just look away and hold out your hand. <gasps> Cody, I think I'm gonna feel hoo-hoos for the first time. Okay, Junior, when she's done, give me your other hand and don't look. I got something for you to squeeze and tug. All right, Junior, now you can look. What do you think? What is it? It's a bracelet with my name on it, so now you can always be thinking about me. Mm, yay. Shut up, Cody. And look, I have a bracelet with your name on it, so now we can always be thinking about each other. Double gay. Shut up, Cody. Well, Junior, what do you think? Uh, that's cool. 
Well, it doesn't seem like you like it, Junior. Well, I, I, I do like it. I just already have these black things on my wrist, and my wrist feels really cluttered. Well, mine is prettier, Junior, and don't ever take it off. Otherwise, I will break up with you, and I'll move in with my grandparents in Iowa. Mmm, triple gay. What happened that was triple gay? Is he wearing it? Well, she said I can't take it off or she's gonna break up with me, Cody. Okay, fine. If you want everybody thinking your name is Penelope. What? Oh, okay, why would I wear a bracelet with my own name on it? Well, you wear a bib with your own name on it. And speaking of which, why do you wear a bib? How old are you? Well, because I'm a messy eater, Cody, and I don't want to stay in my orange shirt. My great-great-grandmother gave me this shirt and she died. Okay. Yeah, so just don't look at my wrist. It's kind of hard not to look at that gay shit. Just don't look at it. Look, it's behind my head. Just don't look at it. Okay, fine. Oh, Junior, I just heard your front door open and close. Now, I'm assuming that's Joseph and not an intruder. But if it is Joseph, we should ask his opinion about your bracelet. And if it's an intruder, we should scream. Freeze! This is a robbery! Now empty your pockets! Yeah, an intruder! We had a 50-50 chance. I said empty your pockets! I don't have pockets. Me neither. Well, uh, give me that dinosaur and that peanut pigeon over there. Okay, you can take them. But first, which one do you think would win in a race? Yeah, I guess I'll find out later. Now, give me! Yeah. Now, I gotta kill both of you so there's no witnesses. But I'm gay. Yeah, I can't kill a gay guy. People will think I'm homophobic. Looks like I just gotta kill you. Ah, oh, shit. You're gay too. Look at that bracelet. I can't kill two gay guys. Keep your stuff. Dang it. But I'm not gay. Junior, shut up. But I'm not gay, Cody. Yeah, but that bracelet saved your life, and it saved our race animals. Wait, Junior, your front door just opened and closed again. Now, either that's Joseph or a pizza guy, because we did order pizza 30 minutes ago. Hey there, pizza time. I saw a guy with a gun leaving, so I assumed you wouldn't be answering the door. That'll be $14.99. Okay, let me get the money. All I have is a 10. Well, that's not $14.99. I ought to beat your ass! Oh, wait a minute. I don't want a hate crime on my hands. You know, since you're gay and all. Yeah, I saw the bracelet. It has my daughter's name on it. That's weird. So yeah, I'll take the $10. I, I already feel kind of bad because I ate three slices of your pizza. <laughs> Call me hungry because I'm Howie. Damn it, that's not it. it. Call me Howard. No, god damn it. I practiced this in the car when I was eating your pizza. I, I, I must be Howie because I was hungry. That's, that's why I ate three slices of your pizza. So now I'm not hungry. I'm, I'm full. I'm full Howie. No longer hungry, Howie. I don't know, just enjoy your fucking pizza. Ooh, looks like I made it just in time. The pizza's here. Yeah, Joseph, you missed a weird day. This robber came in and held me and Cody at gunpoint. What? Nobody got shot? No, he thought we were gay, so he didn't shoot us. He didn't want to get canceled. Mmm, understandable, you know, with Cody and everything. Wait, what the hell is that, dude? What? Dude, that pink bracelet is fruity as hell. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Well, Penelope made me a bracelet because she's my girlfriend. <laughs> She's gonna have your ass wearing a bra and high heels next and strutting up and down the highway giving blowers for 25 cents. Oh, please, Junior, keep wearing that. No, listen, guys, there's nothing wrong with this bracelet. You guys don't even have girlfriends that would make you a bracelet. Dude, should I get you a wig and, you know, makeup? Come on, guys, just stop making fun of me. I have to wear this. If I take it off, she's gonna break up with me. Wait, 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 hold up. My feng shui is all fucked up. Something's wrong. Jo Joseph, switch with me. That's my side of the couch. No, dude, I'll see your name on the couch. Joseph, switch with me. I like that side of the couch. No, I'm not switching with you, dude. Dude, make me. Dude, you please. I've always sat on that side of the couch. That's my side of the couch. Oh, fine. God. Oh, this is much better. This is where I belong. Now, Joseph, who would win in a race? A pigeon and a peanut or a dinosaur and a motorcycle? I don't know about all that, but I know who would win the gayest person on this planet. <laughs> Junior with that damn bracelet. Okay, that's it. I'm taking it off. Thank you. Finally. Ugh, you'll never see me wear that stupid dumb bracelet ever again. Damn, Junior. I didn't know your balls were so big. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. As long as you don't wear that bracelet, you're straight. Yeah, I don't need this stupid, dumb bracelet. Junior, I'm back! Oh, God, can you help me put it back on, please? Junior, I thought you weren't going to wear it. If I'm not wearing it, Penelope's going to break up with me. Help me put it back on. Okay, gay boy. Hey, Junior. Oh, hey, Penelope. Look, I'm still wearing the bracelet. I never took it off. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, great. Well, my dad was just here, and he told me he delivered a pizza, so I was hoping to get a slice. Yeah, get you a slice. Grab a slice of that pepperoni. Ew, I don't like pepperoni. I thought it was sausage. Bye, Junior. What is this pink goo on top of the pizza box? Yeah, everyone look at the pink goo and not this bracelet. Junior, I can't believe you were so gay you put the bracelet back on. Yeah, dude, you were craving penis that bad. Well, no, God, you know if I take it off, Penelope will break up with me. Okay, whatever you say. Gay boy. Okay, that's it. I'm taking it off again. Ugh, you're never going to see me wear that stupid darn bracelet never, ever, never again. I don't believe you, Junior. I think you're going to put it back on as soon as you see Penelope again. Nope, nope, that's not going to happen, I swear. Let me break it. What? Let me break that bill. You don't need it. Let me break that bill. The bracelet, you break it? Yeah, break that bill in half. Stump on it if I had to. Let him break it, Junior. Let him break it. 
So you're saying you want to break the brace? Yeah, I want to split that bitch down the middle. Mm-hmm. Stump on it. Curve stomp that bitch. Let me break that bitch. You're saying you want to break the brace? Like I want to break that motherfucker. Let me break that bitch. Let him break it, Gene. Um, yeah, sure, break it. I, I mean, I don't, I, I don't, I don't need it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Unless you're loyal to the penis. No, no, I don't like penis. What the hell are you talking about? If you like penis, I won't break it. All you got to do is tell me, bro. No, I don't like penis. No, you can break it. Bro, just be honest with me. Break it or penis. 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 Break it. Ah! A penis. 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 I'm a penis. Oh, Junior, have some dignity. I mean, good choice, but still. Dude, it's for the best. No, Penelope's gonna break up with me when I don't have it on my wrist, and especially because it's in a lot of pieces. No, she's not, dude. Because you're gonna tell her, hey, ho, I'm no pet. You can't tell me what to do. You're right, Joseph. I'm gonna say that to her next time I see her a big, dumb, stupid face. Junior, I'm back! Oh no, it's in so many pieces! She's gonna break up with me! Give me all the pieces! Give me all the pieces! Clean up the pieces! Tell them in the bathroom! Alright, guys, so I just realized I do like pepperoni. I don't like pepperoncinis. Those are two completely different fucking things. And either way, I can always pick off the pepperoni if I don't want them. But I thought you said you did like pepperoni. Where's Junior? Oh, he's in the bathroom. Being gay? Oh, he must still be wearing the bracelet I made him. Unless somebody broke that motherfucker. What? You know, broke that bitch in half, split it like the Red Sea. Huh? You know, in two million, three million, four million pieces. <laughs> what are you saying right now? Don't listen to him. Junior's still wearing the bracelet. Oh, good. Well, tell him I stopped by. Well, don't you want some pizza? What the fuck? And what is this jelly? Does Hungry Howie's even sell jelly? Okay, okay. Maybe I can put the bracelet back together. But how? Ooh, tape. I need a lot of tape. Oh god, this floor is so damn dirty! Oh. I gotta clean it. Oh shit, baby! What are you doing? Hey, watch what you're doing! You're gonna mess up my vacuum! You vacuumed up my bracelet! Bracelet? What are you, gay? What's wrong, Jenny? Shit, baby, was vacuuming and he vacuumed up the pieces to the bracelet, so now it's gone forever. Wow, what a hero. Well, Penelope came looking for you, but then she left again. I think she was just making sure you were still wearing the bracelet. Guys, what am I going to do when Penelope sees I'm not wearing the bracelet? She's going to leave me. Well, the good news is you're not gay anymore, although you did just yell penis, penis, penis. But I'm not going to count that because you're not going to put your money where your mouth is. Pretty sus, though, dude. Ooh, guys, I got an idea. What if I go buy a bracelet making kit and I make a bracelet that looks just like the one she made me? Oh, so gay. Well, I do have a bracelet making kit. You do? Yeah, and I'll let you use it, because us gays gotta stick together. Okay, okay, I wanna bar- Wait, no, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm, I'm not gay. Dude, you have to wear a dress, though. <laughs> yeah, Ghibli. <laughs> okay, guys, you know what? I will not make another bracelet. I'm done with the bracelets. I just have to think of another solution of why I'm not wearing the bracelet. Okay. <gasps> I got an idea. What if... I tell Penelope that the bracelet was so tight on my wrist that I lost circulation in my hand and I get my hand cut off. She'll think that her bracelet did that, so that's why I'm not wearing it. You would rather lose your hand than have her break up with you? Dude, she's not worth a hand. She's a 5, maybe a 5.5 at best. You can find another one of those behind the McDonald's cash register, dude. Guys, guys, listen, listen. It's, it's a perfect plan because, look, I could call her in here and then right before she gets in here, you cut off my hand, right, and you put it on ice and I tell her, oh, your bracelet did this to me. Don't ever make your bracelet ever again. And then when she leaves, I get my hand put right back on. They sew it back on at the hospital. And you're gonna do that every time she comes over? No, 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 no. I only have to do it once because she's gonna think her bracelet did that and then I get my hand put back on and I say they saved my hand. Okay. All right. Penelope, get in here! Okay, on my way! All right, Cody, hurry up and cut my hand off! Well, all I have is this butter knife. Well, get the cutting! Okay. Ow, I'm cut harder! Yeah. I'm cut harder! Yeah. Hey, Junior, oh. you called? Wait, why are you still in the house? I couldn't oh. figure out the doorknob. How old are you, dude? Shut up, Joseph. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Junior, what happened to your hand? That stupid gas fucking bracelet you made was cutting the circulation off my hand, man, to cut it off to save it. Junior, I'm so sorry. Do you want me to make you one that fits you better? Oh, yeah, that's the one I fucking want, right? Like, no one told me she could do that. No one told me she might say that. Well, it was a stupid idea in the first place. Oh, Junior, do you want me to make you a new bracelet? Imagine being gay and missing a hand. No, I don't want another fucking goddamn bracelet. Why would I want another one if it made me lose my fucking hand? I don't, I don't want to wear it. I didn't want to wear the last one. That's why I cut my hand off, so I didn't have to wear it. Junior, why didn't you just say something? I could have said something. Yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't have made you wear it. Oh, fuck, Cody. Get my hand out of the ice. Get my hand out of the ice. Cody, go. Go, you go. You can call your dad. Call your dad. Tell him to come put it back on. Hey! Call your someone fucking help me. Jeffy, 
you get in here? Junior, get your butt in here. Yeah, Dad? What do you want, Daddy? Well, me, Braxton, and Rose are going to a bar to play bingo and sing karaoke. Yeah, Junior, your dad's going to be the next Beyonce. All oh, the single ladies, all oh, the single ladies. Yeah, you know that song, right? So, are you two going to be okay to stay home alone for a few hours? Sure, Daddy. I'm just going to work on patenting my new Ash Wiper 3000. I'll never have stinky fingers again. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, that boy is a genius. I might need that later. I get nervous at karaoke, and I got IBS. Oh, uh, well, look, we're going to leave, so if you need anything, just call us and do not burn the house down. Yeah. All right, daddy. Wait, wait, you guys are not alone. Uh, Junior, uh, Chef PB staying here to watch over you guys because I don't trust you with the house, so Chef PB, get up here and do your job. Well, well, well. Look who's king of the castle now, Lord Peep. <laughs> Don't call yourself that, Chef Peep. -pee. What the hell? Wait, wait, there's a Chef Peep -pee here? Where is he? Where is he? Because all I see is royalty. So call me Lord Peep, Your Majesty, Your Highness, or Your Peepness. Something that pertains to royalty. And since I'm in charge now, you peasants gotta do what I say. And if you got a problem with it, your ass going to the dungeon, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have any objections? <laughs> Ass Wiper 3000. Well, no more Ass Wiper 3000 unless you're wiping my ass. Yes, Lord Penis. No, it's Lord Peepness. God, look, I, I'm going to sleep in Braxton's bed. Do not bother me or you will feel the wrath of Lord Peep. There's someone at the door, Jeffy. Let's go answer it. Okay. Hello? What up, dudes? Who are you? The name's Crush, because I fucking crush it all the time, man. What are you doing here, Crush? Well, I was driving through Florida to get down to the Everglades to live in the woods like Winnie the Pooh Bear or some shit. And on the way down, I was smoking this wicked ganj in my car, dude, and got fucked up, dude. Like, I couldn't even drive. So I was starting to look for a hotel room, but then I was like, I don't have a phone because I don't believe in technology. I believe in squirrels, dude. Have you ever seen a fucking squirrel? They're fucking awesome. They got this like built-in geographical positioning system in their head, dude. They always know where all the good nuts are. And that's me, man. I'm just trying to be a squirrel and try to get my nut, dude. So you guys know where any hotels are? No, we don't know where any hotels are. Oh, well that's crazy because I was at fucking this gas station, dude, and I got this map of Cuba and I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't know where the fuck I am, dude, but if you turn it sideways, it kind of looks like Florida or a seahorse. And, and I'm like, if I find a hotel, it's got to be cheap, dude, because all I got is 160 bucks. <gasps> 160 bucks cash? Yeah. <gasps> Jeffy, we, we can let him stay here and we can get $160. We get paid for him to sleep. Uh, so technically this place is a hotel. No way, dude. This looks like a house. Well, we built it to look like that because we want people to feel like they're at home. Dude, I do feel that way. I feel like I'm at home. Yeah, so if you stay here, you have to give us 160 bucks. Okay, cool, man. Here's your 160 bucks. Oh my God, yeah, let me show you to your room. Cool. Okay, here's your room. You can either have the bottom bunk or the top bunk. Oh, dude, I'm bottom bunk all the way, man. Because if I was up there and there was a fire, like, how would I get down, dude? Down here is so chill, man. It's like my own little bird nest. Cuckoo, cachoo. Well, let us know if you need anything. Go to sleep. Wait, how do you have toes? Whoa, man, where did your little piggies go? Did they run off to like the market? My piggies are right here, dude, just chilling. A total vibe. All right, Jeffy, let's go. Oh my God, Jeffy, look, we just made $160 by letting someone sleep in our bed for the night. Junior, did you see his toes? Why don't I have toes like that? I think when he falls asleep, I'm gonna go in there and steal his toes. No, Jeffy, if we rent out the top bunk for another $160, then you can buy yourself new toes. You're right, Junior. So I'm gonna go make a sign and put it on the front door saying that we're a hotel and that we're open. Okay. <clears throat> there, hotel open, $160. Bleh! Ah, the devil! Yes, it is me, the devil. What are you doing here? Well, I need the vacation from hell and I saw your sign that says hotel open $160 but I only have $200. Well that's enough. You can stay here. Oh you're not even going to give me my change. How evil. I love it here. Let me show you your room. So I got some good news for you sir. We upgraded you to the top bunk. Oh the top bunk. I'm in heaven. Wait. I don't want to be in heaven. Oh wicked man. He's gonna clip my toenails for me. This place is the best. What are you doing Jeffy? I want his toes Junior. Oh, come on Jeffy. <laughs> cut it out Jeffy. I was trying to cut it out. All ten of his toes. No Jeffy look. We just made $360 in one night by letting two people sleep in our bunk beds. That is pretty detached. Yeah so let me go remove the sign from the front door because I don't want anyone else thinking they can stay here. 
Oh no, there's someone at the door. Hello? Hi there, is this a hotel? Uh, no officer, this is not a hotel. Well that's a damn shame, because we were hoping for some bed and breakfast type shit. Yeah, I was trying to get lucky. Get lucky, he's already lucky. This motherfucker hit the goddamn jackpot. He gets to be all up in this Babs cooch. Well sorry, we don't have any rooms available for the night. Well, that's a damn shame, because where else was I going to spend my $500? $500? Yeah, good dick ain't cheap! Well, I think for $500, I can get a room ready for you guys, so come wait in the lobby. Really? Yeah, come wait. Thank you, young man. All right, you two, just sit right here. Your room will be available shortly. Is there anything I can get you? Yeah, lube, five paper towels, and a Pringles can. Okay. And leave one of the Pringles in it! Jeffy, we have a problem. What, Junior? We too fucking paid. Wee! No, but seriously, there's these two people that want to rent a room for $500, but we don't have any rooms left. Well, what if we rented out your dad's room? What? We can't do that. Chef Pee Pee's sleeping in there. What if we move Chef Pee Pee somewhere else? <gasps> That's a good idea, Jeffy. Let's go move Chef Pee Pee. We have to be really quiet. Okay. Lord Pee. Okay, Jeffy, grab his head. Wait, stop teabagging him. Oh, you're Lord here. Peep. Okay, look, I'll grab his legs. You grab his head. Okay, Jeffy, now that Chef Pee Pee's sleeping in the bathtub, we can rent out my dad's room. Yeah, Junior. I like you, but you like me. Oh, I hate sending risky texts. I'm not even gonna look at my phone. Okay, just real quick. She hasn't answered yet. Hey, man. Oh, dude, why are you red like a pepper? Because I am the devil. All oh, right, on, man. I love your lettuce. Speaking of devil's lettuce, do you have a light? Because I'm trying to hotbox this bunk bed, dude. Do I have a light? I am a light. I am the king of fire. All oh, right, on, man, because I'm trying to get Zooty McScooty, dude. Sorry for the wait, but your room is now ready. Wow, this is nice as shit. It feels like I'm in Dubai or something. And what is this? Is this one of those Tempur-Pedic mattresses? Put a glass of wine on the bed and see if it falls over while we're banging. Is there anything else I can get you to? Yeah, give me some candles, a pack of cigarettes, a can of Febreze, and a yellow potty city balloon to douche. And also three more layers of sheets. All right, I'll be here in a minute. All right, and leave it by the door because we're going to go ahead and get started. Guys, do you need anything? Peekaboo Kookachoo! Hey man, we're high as shit, bro! And we're on the bottom bunk! <laughs> well, I was just making sure you guys didn't need anything. No, man, we're fabuloso, my guy! We're like Jack and the Beanstalk, but we're the guy in the clouds. Yeah, we're like a cubulo nimbus. Dude, that was the name of Harry Potter's broom! Oh, well, I'll let you guys just keep hanging out. There's someone at the door, hold on. All right, dude, we're gonna be in outer space. <laughs> Hello? Hey, is my partner Simmons here? His squad car's parked outside and he's not answering his radio. Oh, well, a cop checked in a few minutes ago. Checked in? What do you mean? This isn't a hotel. Uh, it's like a Airbnb. Oh, okay. Well, what room's he in? Because I really need his help for an emergency. See, there's this fat person that's at a buffet and they refuse to leave. And at first, I thought it might be my ex-wife, but that's not possible because she's banned from all buffets worldwide and apparently the gym. But no. No, it's not her. It's this fat guy that's been there since lunchtime, and now he thinks he can live there since it's all you can eat. And I'm gonna need another officer to help me drag his fat ass out of there. Oh, well, he's up there in the room to the left. Okay, thank you. Ugh, I can't believe Simmons would get a hotel room while he's on duty. He's so lazy. Okay, Simmons! Take the toothbrush out of my ass and give me a bloody dragon! I thought we were doing the Panamanian petting zoo. No, fuck that! Give me the Kentucky Klondike bar! What the? Is that the room service? Come on inside and look what I'm doing to Simmons' balls. Mom? Brookie, is that you? Can you get us some bottles of water? Oh, hi, Mike. Can you take a picture? I didn't know your mom was this flexible. That's it, Mom. Get out. Go home. I can't believe you can't accept me and Simmons' love. That, that was not love, okay? And I will never accept my partner sleeping with my mom. Get your hand off him. Simmons, come on. We gotta go to a buffet. He's full. He had a whole buffet of roast beef from the bed. Oh, God. Come on, Simmons. Uh, wait. Is that a fire? Ah! Oh, my God. It's a fire! We gotta get out, the house is on fire! Whoa, dude, look, it's Lord Farquaad, far out, man. Wait, wait, what? Who the hell are you? The name's Crush, like the soda. 
Oh, y'all boys getting lit in here, ain't you? Litty to titty, we're blazing, man. Yeah, you should join us, King Tut. Oh, you know, Lord, people prove pass it to me. I can't believe we didn't win a single game of bingo all night. Look, those old ladies were cheating. Marvin, look, there's a sign on our door. It says hotel open. $160? It must be some kids in the neighborhood pulling a prank. I'm gonna take the sign down. Marvin, do you see that smoke in the air? Oh my God, the house might be on fire. We have to get the kids. Oh no, the house ain't on fire. That's gas. <laughs> Straight gas. Marvin, I think they're in the bunk bed. Come on, kids, we gotta go. Whoa, I didn't know it was gonna be a powwow. Crush? All zero gag reflex chick, what's up? <laughs> Stop. That's a hell of a nickname. What, you know him? Yeah, we met at a festival once. We shared a tent. Yeah, we did. Oh, that makes sense now. Well, get the hell out of my house. Well, I paid legal tender to be here, so get out of my hotel room. This is not a hotel room, this is my house, and I want you to leave. Oh, man, buzzkill. Yeah, everyone leave, everyone get out. Oh, look, that fire alarm's going off. Jesus. Okay, Jeffy, out of the $855 we made by renting out all the bedrooms, we both get $425 each, but I don't know how to split this last $5. Let me see it. Jeffy, why are there random people in the house? I don't know. Julia, where did you get all this money from? Oh, uh, people at school pay me to do their homework for them. <laughs> I know that's a damn lie, because you are dumb as hell. But I'm going to take all this money for rent by the time you start being treated as an adult. <laughs> well, I only made Sadness, you there? Yeah. Anger, you there? Yeah. All right, time to get the day started. Let's say we wake him up and go annoy Daddy. Oh, we should annoy Daddy because we're gonna get in trouble. I say we make a piano of ourselves that goes uh, every time we hit it. Yeah, that would be sick. No, that would be so annoying. Shut up, sadness. I say we wake up screaming at the top of our lungs. Yeah. No. Let's go. Jeffy, what is that? It's a me piano. I call it a miano. Jeffy, where did you even get that? Ooh, guys, he wants to know where we got our piano from. I don't even know. I think we should hit the I don't even know button. But we do know where we got it from. We got it from smlmerch.com, sadness. Link in the description. But I'm just going to hit the I don't even know button. I don't even know. Jeffy, seriously, where'd you get it? I don't even know. Jeffy, where'd you get the piano? I don't even know. Jeffy! I don't even know. 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 Guys, it's getting annoying. Stop! Keep hitting it. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Did he, uh, fucking hit us? He did! We should hit him back! Why did daddy hit us? Does he hate us? He's a bad daddy! All right, guys, let's be strategic about this. I think we should cry to get sympathy from mommy. I think we should yell at daddy and tell him he's high. All good suggestions. I say we do them all. Mm -hmm. Marvin, look what you did. You're a bad daddy. Are you fucking high hitting me? Jeffy, you won't tell me where you got this piano from. Or no. Jeffy, tell me where you got it from. Maybe you should check out smlmerch.com. Link in the description. Beep. All right, Jeffy, take this to your room. I don't want to hear it because it's really annoying. Okay. <sighs> Whoa, Joseph, where'd you get all those fireworks? Dude, I got it from a guy selling out his trunk. Oh, that sounds safe. Yeah, we should go outside and light them and see how long we can hold them after we light them. <gasps> That'd be so cool. No, we should not do that because we're going to end up like Jason Pierre-Paul. What, a future Hall of Famer? A two-time Super Bowl champion? No, missing four of our fingers. He won one of those Super Bowls after he lost his fingers. Yeah, well, I bet if he had the chance to trade in those Super Bowl rings for his fingers back, he'd do it. I don't think so. He won one of those Super Bowls with Tom Brady, and he won the other one beating Tom Brady. He'd be silly to trade in those rings, dude. If you offered me to keep my fingers or win two Super Bowls, I'm picking my fingers. If they told me I had to lose both my hands to kiss Tom Brady, I would do it. Yeah, shit, you can take my hands. Wait a minute. Hey, guys, check out my Jeffy piano! Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, look what it can do! <gasps> oh, I can sing a song! Woo! That's so cool! Yeah, check this out! What? That's so cool, can speed it up, can it slow it down? Oh, of course, Junior, check this out. You think that's funny? <gasps> I my Ooh, I like it. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh. It's like oh, chopped yeah. and screwed. It's chopped and screwed, definitely. No, right, well, there's enough of that. I shit my pants and now it's running. Why? Why? So where can you get this piano at, Jeffy? HMLmerch.com, link in the description. Beep. Beep. Was I late? Yeah, just a little bit. So, Jeff, you want to go outside and light fireworks with us? Fireworks? Those are so pretty. Yeah, they go boom. <laughs> Explosions. Yeah, guys, let's go light some freaking fireworks then. Yeah, guys, let's go do fireworks. Yeah. Make sure you wear your goggles. You don't want to get sparks in your eyes. Shut your lame ass up, dude. Yeah, do you wear goggles while you're slobbing knob? Yeah, I wear a goddamn poncho because I'm in the splash zone. It's like Shamu jumping into a pool full of mayonnaise. Oh, Jesus. Let's just go and pop fireworks, dude. Yeah, let's go. Fireworks! 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 It's raining? No, dude! Fourth of July is ruined! Oh man, why is that the rain on the Fourth of July? Wait, we can't do fireworks while it's raining? This is the worst day ever! Ah, I hate the rain! Guys, I guess we're just gonna have to cry because we didn't get our way. Yeah, I think we should cry! Ah, I don't want to light fireworks! Me too, Jeffy, but we can't light them while it's raining, right? No. <sighs> okay, let's just go wait in my room till it's done raining. <laughs> Oh, guys, I can't believe it's raining on the 4th of July. This should be the one holiday that it can't rain. I know, dude. It should be illegal. I also don't want it to rain on Christmas or Halloween because of trick-or-treating or Thanksgiving or my birthday or all of summer break or spring break or the Super Bowl or any days I don't want it to rain. Junior, they can't control the rain. They did in Dubai. And then they couldn't make it stop raining. Well, listen, are there any of these, like, fireworks we can light in the house, like these rockets? What are you, a freaking stupid? Junior, you're gonna burn the house down. You can't burn your house down if it's raining outside. The rain will extinguish the fire. The rain is on the outside of the house. The fire would be on the inside of the house. And when the fire burns the ceiling off, then the rain could get in and extinguish the fire. We don't want the fire to burn the ceiling off. That's what we want to avoid. Okay, listen, are there any fireworks we can light that won't burn the house? down. Jeffy, do you still have those little snap and pop things? I used them all. Oh, great. Well, we have this little butt plug thing, but I'm pretty sure if we lit this, it would explode in the house. We're to Junior, why would you light it while I'm holding it, you motherfucker? Yeah! Junior blew my fucking hand off, you idiot! Oh! Ow, 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 ow. What the fuck? The firework blew his hand off! His hand is completely off! That was totally gnarly! That was cool as shit! Well, that's no our problem! Hey guys! Wait, who are you? My name's Anxiety! You know, that could've happened to us! A fire could've blown our hand off! Oh my god, that's true! It could've been us! We could've been the one that lost our hand! Ah, Daddy! Daddy! My friend lit a firework in the house and it blew his hand off! Jeffy, you are lighting fireworks in the house? No, my friend did it and blew his hand off! Jeffy, you could've gotten hurt! I know, my hand could've gotten blown off! Why is my diaper so tight? Why is my shirt still on? It's just hot in here! Somebody help me! Marvin, I think he's having a panic attack! I'll call a doctor! I think we're gonna die! I think we're gonna die! What are you doing, anxiety? You're fucking up the controls, you fuckhead! Yeah, stop messing with the controls! We're gonna die! We're doomed! Ow, ow, ow! Stop crying, Cody. We brought you to the hospital because you decided to blow your hand off. Hey there, let me guess, another fireworks injury. Maybe you blew your hand off playing with fireworks? Whoa, dude, he's a wizard. How do you know that, doctor? Because this is the 4th of July. People do that every single year. Tons of people blow their hands off playing with fireworks, even though they see people do that on the news all the time. They just can't stop doing it. They love it. You know what's crazy? Those people woke up today with all of their fingers and all of their hands, and now they don't have them anymore because they decided to ruin their life just for seven seconds of fun. Just like me, when I had my first kid. My entire life ruined over seven seconds. Those were the best seven seconds of my life, though. I was going crazy. So what's going on? Well, it's not my fault. Junior lit the firework while I was holding it. Well, why didn't you just throw it? Well, yeah, I guess I could have thrown it instead of saying, Junior, why did you light it while I was holding it, you motherfucker? So that is my bad. Well, can you, like, put the fingers back on? Like, can you sew them back on? Did you bring the fingers? No. Hmm, chicken fingers. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. I'm going to Bojangles, and I'm gonna eat them with both hands because I can do that because I'm responsible with fireworks. Well, is there a way he could grow his fingers back like a lizard? No, because he's not a lizard. He's a human being. He's not Dr. Kurt Connors from The Amazing Spider-Man. And even if he was, you saw how that happened. I mean, yeah, he got his arm back, but he also turned into a horrible lizard monster. And Andrew Garfield only got two movies. Can you please give me some goddamn pain medicine? Well, look on the bright side, Cody. Now you can go win two Super Bowls. 
Foles. No, I can't because Jason Pierre-Paul was already in the NFL. He already made a name for himself. They're not going to take me. Yeah, not with that spirit, dude. And also, this doctor might have a connection with the NFL. Oh, yeah, I do. I treat lots of concussions. And then there's also DeMar Hamlin. I brought him back to life like I was Dr. Frankenstein. You know, he actually told me he faked the whole thing, but I'll still never forgive him for giving the Chiefs the number one seed. Can you please give me some pain medicine? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll go get that. Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor, sorry for calling you. I know you're probably busy on the 4th of July. No, not really. I have to give pain medicine to this one kid who blew his hand off playing with fireworks, but I'm gonna let him suffer for a little while. It's his own fault. That's one of the things I actually like about being a doctor, is that I can just disappear for a little while and play some Candy Crush in my office. My patients think I'm busy, but no, I'm just crushing candy. Well, anyway, Jeffy's having a really bad panic attack. Oh, yeah, he probably just has anxiety from all the fireworks outside. Some of my older veteran patients have the same problem. I like to bust into their room covered in grass and screaming in Vietnamese while I throw poppers at them. That always freaks them out. Yeah, I always say just kidding, but no, they're usually pretty upset. That's okay. They have Alzheimer's. They're not even going to remember that I did it. Anyway, here, you can just uh, have some of my Xanax. What, you take Xanax? Oh, no, no, no. I write prescriptions for my friends, and then they give them to me, and then I sell them on the street for a profit. On the streets, they call me Dr. Phil with an F, you know, like fill their prescription because they're addicts. My wife also calls me Dr. Phil, but for a very different and gross reason. Anyway, this will make you feel a lot better, so say ah. I don't do well with pills. I'm gonna need you to hide it in peanut butter and shove it up my ass. I'm not doing that. Open your mouth. Oh. oh you missed the other Yeah, it's okay. It's uh, uh, yeah. Jeffrey, take it. What did we just swallow? Is it gonna kill us? I think they gave us medicine to make us calm down. What if the medicine makes us have depressing thoughts? What if it makes us angry? Hey there. Who are you? My name's Xanax. I'm the cream of the crop. Get out of here. We don't want you here. I'm going nowhere. I get you for 30 minutes. 30 minutes of relax time. Kick it up, Xanax. Yeah, mess him up. Yeah, get rid of anxiety. Don't touch me. Stay away. Ah! Time to go night night, motherfucker. <laughs> you die. I feel better now. Yeah, now I feel good. I feel better. I know you do, buddy. I'm gonna write you a prescription for 60 of those and you give me half, capiche? Now I'm gonna go back to the hospital and pretend I'm busy. Jeffy, I know you're freaking out, but it's just called anxiety. You get that when you get older. Dang, I don't give a fuck. I'm floating on a cloud. I just popped a Xan. 13 hours till I land, have me out like a light. What is he talking about? I don't know. Like a light and bitches hella tight. All right, Cody, how are you feeling? Well, considering the doctor never came back and we had to stop at Walgreens for bandages and ibuprofen, I'm not feeling good. You popped a boofy? Yeah, and it's not doing anything. Well, that's enough about you. I gotta talk to them. Hey, guys, if you want one of my Jeffy P. Nanos, then go to HTMLmerch.com right now, link in the description, and get your pre-order in before July 31st. And we gotta sell 2,000 of these bitches because Santa Claus needs a four-month notice before they can get to your stocking. But what Jeffy's trying to say is that we have to sell 2,000 pre-orders of this piano before July 31st or the factory won't be able to make it in time for Christmas. So go ahead and pre-order this right now at SMLmerch.com. Yeah, so if you want a Jeffy piano, go to SMLmerch.com right now, place your pre-order, and if we get 2,000, then we get to produce these a mass production so we can be able to sell more in the future. Yeah, and you got three and a half weeks to decide what you want for Christmas. And it better be this. Yep, and if not, then you're square. Yeah. You're not around. 2,000 of these, please. 2,000. Yeah. 2,000. Show, show them how it works. Oh, of course. See? Regular piano. And then if you hit this button right here. And then if you hit the Jeffy button, it plays one of my songs. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is a pretty cool. And also has a working microphone too. Mm -hmm, it does. It, you can sing into it. It works. It record you can record your voice singing to it too. Hey daddy, I smacked these hoes. Stuck my pee pee in some Cheerios. I got a pencil in my nose and I beat my diaper everywhere I go. Well, guys, I think today was a successful day. What if that anxiety guy comes back? I think the doctor gave us enough Xanax. Marvin, guess what came in the mail today? These nuts. My grandparents' ashes. Oh, Wait, your grandparents' ashes? Like, both of them? Yeah, Marvin, they wanted to be mixed together for all eternity. Wait, so they're both inside this thing? Ew, that's their ashes? Yes, Marvin, they died and they were cremated. They wanted to be put in this priceless, one-of-a-kind vase that's been passed down from generation to generation in my family. Well, can we put it, like, in the closet or something? I don't want to look at it. It's weird. Oh, no, Marvin, they love kitchens. They said when we die, put us in the kitchen. Okay, well, I'm not going to sit in the kitchen and look at your grandparents' death sand, okay? I'm going to go upstairs. Oh, okay.
All right, guys, are you ready to kick the soccer ball in the house? Yeah! yeah. But Junior, what if we break something? Cody, are you 40 years old? What if we break something? Yeah, be a kid for once. Well, I just don't want to get in trouble. We're not going to get in trouble. Hey, Jeffy, I'm going to kick the ball to you first. Okay. Ugh. 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 I got it, I got it. My turn. Ugh. What's this? Oh, uh, what was that? It sounded like you broke something. It sounded like you broke something. Cody, that's what you sound like. If you ever want to know what you sound like, that's what you sound like. Well, okay, that doesn't change that you broke something. Okay, how do you know I broke something? Because there was a loud crash from the kitchen. But what if there's a speaker in there that plays crashing glass sounds? Wh why would you have that? You know they're like little machines that play nature noises? Maybe it's on the crashing glass sound channel. Yeah, yeah, that sounds very relaxing. Crashing glass sounds. I'd like to fall asleep to that. Uh, guys, do you think I broke something? Nah. No. See, look, guys, it's three against one, so I didn't break anything. Okay, let's go check. Okay, what do I get when there's nothing broken there? Uh, five dollars. Okay, I'm gonna get five dollars. Okay. Oh no! What happened here? Junior, this is the thing you broke! Wait, so there's not a machine that makes broken glass noises in here? No, you don't have one of those. Yes, I do! And what is all this stuff? I think it's someone's ashes. Wow, they have a serious smoking problem if they have that much ashes. What? No, Junior, I mean like human ashes. Like, this used to be people. Dude, this is a lot of people. Alright, guys, okay, what are we gonna do about this? What, what are we gonna do, Junior? You're the one who broke it. What? No, we all broke it, because we all kicked the soccer ball. But you hit it last. No, Jeffy hit it last. No, you hit it last! Guys, it doesn't matter that Jeffy hit it last. We just have to focus on cleaning it up. So uh, I'm gonna sweep up the ashes and let's put it inside a vase that looks just like it. Junior, where are we gonna find a vase that looks just like this one? Hey guys, look at this vase I found that looks just like that one. What? What? Oh, oh, Jeffy! Oh. Come on, we needed that! Oh. <gasps> ah! Grandpa, Grandpa! <laughs> Alright, who did it? Jeffy did it. What? Yeah, yeah, Jeffy did it, Jeffy did it. Yeah, Jeffy did it. Oh, screw you guys! That's it, Jeffy, you're grounded! But I didn't do it! Your friends ratted you out and said you did it, so you're coming with me! <laughs> All right, Jeffy, that's it, you're grounded! But I didn't break the vase! Yes, you did! Well, I didn't break the first vase, but I broke the second vase. There was only one vase, Jeffy! No, there wasn't! There were two vases! No! Exactly, there was only one vase, Jeffy. <laughs> Guys, if there were two vases, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Prove them wrong. Jeffy, there was only one vase and you broke it because your friend said you broke it. My friends are no longer my friends anymore because they framed me. Jeffy gets framed. It's the title of the video. Jeffy, you're grounded for a month. This house is a prison. Go to your room. Daddy, I'm going to prove to you that my friend framed me. Okay, then do that then. But you're the one who broke it. <laughs> it's okay, baby. We'll go sweep it up and we'll put it in like a litter box or something. All right, guys, what color do you think goes next? Oh, dude, totally the orange one. Oh, definitely orange. No. What's up, D-Bags? Oh, hey, Jeffy, sorry we had to blame it on you. Because of you guys, I lost TV for a month! Ooh, that's rough. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Yeah, sorry, Jeffy. You guys better go tell my dad the truth, or else I'm going to ruin all of your lives! But, but they, they already think you did it, so just take the blame on this one. So you've chosen death. I hope you guys enjoy it. Dude, what is Jeffy gonna do? Uh, I don't know. He's not gonna do anything. All right, guys, I think blue is next. No. All right, guys, I think we put them in the perfect order. <sighs> you guys cannot be serious. Well, you can't do it any better. Yeah, uh, guys, I think I'm just gonna go get Ken and go home. Wait, where'd you leave Ken at? Oh, he's on the couch downstairs. I left Ken right here. Wait, wait, what's this? If you ever want to see Ken again, admit that I didn't break the vase. Jeffy must have taken Ken. Junior, you have to go admit that you broke the vase right now. What? No, I'm not going to get grounded just so you can get your stupid dumb doll back. But Junior, I need Ken back. Well, look, nothing's going to happen to Ken. But, but what if he hurts him? Dude, he's a doll. Yeah, he's a doll. How is he going to hurt a dumb doll? He's not going to hurt him. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, down there, dude. What? Hey, Cody, there's a package here for you. But to me? But this is your house. I know, that's weird. We should open it. <clears throat> so, Cody, why did a package for you come to my house? I don't know. It's really weird. What'd you order? New glasses? <laughs> new glasses? Yeah, new glasses. Why would I order new glasses? Because you love to collect glasses and wear them. But do you think I wear glasses because I collect glasses? No, I wear glasses because my eyes don't work right. So did you order new eyes? <laughs> new eyes? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to open the box now. <clears throat> What? 
his head! <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Wait, wait, there's no more pieces of him in there? No, it's just his head! What? Junior, we have to go tell the truth right now! What? No! I'm not gonna tell the truth just because you got Ken's head! But Junior, look what he did to him! Oh, 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 maybe the other pieces will come in the mail. <laughs> See, look, that might be another box with another piece to him. Come on. Hello? Mom? Dad? What are you doing here? We're very disappointed in you, Cody. Wh what did I do? You ate a Baconator, Cody. We're Jewish. We're not supposed to eat pork. Well, I didn't eat a Baconator. Oh, yeah? Well, then why did we find this Baconator wrapper in your room? Along with a note that says, ha, 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 I ate this Baconator from Wendy's. So you're going to laugh in our face. Ooh, you're going to burn in Jewish hell for that. Well, why would I leave a note about something I'm not allowed to do? Because you're just that cocky, Cody. You didn't think you'd get caught. Why couldn't you just have eaten a Dave's Double? Well, I did! I love Dave's Doubles! I get them all the time! I don't want to hear you coming home right now, okay? We're going to give you a Spankinator. <sighs> Tell the truth, Junior! Well, I don't want to get grounded! <sighs> Whoa, dude, Cody's life is ruined, just like Jeffy said! Well, do you think Jeffy's going to try to ruin our lives? Nah, I don't have parents, so I'd love to see him try. Give me your best shot. <laughs> Who's the door? Mm. Hello? Joseph? Mommy? Yes, I came back because I love you and I want to be a family again. Really? Yes! <gasps> ah, mommy! Why? <laughs> you guys ready to tell the truth? Jimmy, you ruined my life! Then tell the truth! Well, Jimmy, just stop doing this! Then tell the truth! Whew. Oh, man. Oh, it's really hot in that thing. All right, kid, you get my hundred bucks? Yeah, it's right here in my diaper. You can go ahead and grab it. Right, thank you. Man, you really made that guy feel pretty bad. Yeah, he got me grounded. Oh, well, I mean, I'd feel bad if I were you, but whatever. Uh, let me know if you need anything else. I got a whole bunch more costumes. All right, thanks. Mm -mm -mm, my famous soup is almost ready. Oh, hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? Wait, why are you getting closer to me? Stop it, stop it, stop it! Ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Joseph. Dude, my whole life is ruined. Just tell the truth. Well, I don't want to get grounded. Dude, just tell the truth. Junior, dinner's ready. Oh, dinner's ready. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. What did Chef Pee make me? Oh, he made you his famous soup. What? Wait, what's in this? Chef Pee Pee? What? No, I know he made the soup, but what's in this? Chef Pee Pee. What's Chef Pee Pee? <gasps> <gasps> you go, Chef Pee Pee! Yep, and I'm going to keep going until you tell the truth. What? No, I want Chef Pee Pee back. Are you going to tell the truth? You didn't do it! All right, good. <laughs> oh, man, you got Junior so good. Yep, here's your hundred bucks. Thank you very much. That'll teach him a lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want the truth? Okay, Jimmy did not break your stupid, dumb grandparents' face. I broke it. I was the last one to kick the soccer ball, and I'm the one who broke it. So ungrounded so we can stop killing our families. Mother, father, I demand an apology. Wait, so Jeffy, you did not break that vase? Nope. Well, I broke the second one, but not the first one. So your friends lied? Yes, they framed me. Wait, the title of the video. Jeffy gets framed. We should have paid attention. Yeah, I've been telling you guys that. Well, Jeffy, we're sorry for grounding you. We just we just thought you did it. Now kiss my hand. Kiss your hand? Kiss my hand. <sighs> Ow! Now don't you ever try to take my TV away from me again. <sighs> now, which one of you is going to go sweep up Grandma and Grandpa? <laughs> Shut up, Joseph, I got it. I'm sorry, dude, I'm sorry. Okay. I got it! Oh, 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 dude, that was so close. I know, I didn't think I was gonna get it. I'm so happy we're playing Jenga. Yeah, money Jenga. All right, Richard, it's your turn. All right, which piece do I want to go for? Uh, oh, this one. Oh, be careful, uh -huh. be careful. Uh -huh. oh, oh, you lose! Actually, it looks like I'm winning. All right, guys, what game do you want to play next? How about we play hide and seek? Okay, yeah, I love hide and seek. Yeah, I'm really good at hide and seek, dude. I'll be it, I'll be it. Okay, I'm gonna count, you guys hide. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ready or not, here I come. All right, guys, I'm gonna find you. I just don't know where they're at. <laughs> Joseph, are you behind the teddy bear? No. Where could he be? <laughs> Joseph, are you inside the popcorn container? No. Where could he be? <laughs> Joseph. Oh man, how'd you find me, dude? 
you were making a lot of noise. No, oh, I was quiet as a mouse. <sighs> okay, I gotta find Richard now. Richard? Richard? <sighs> Cha ching! Ugh, I'm allergic to your poor air. Well, I found you, Richard. So that's it. Uh, that means Joseph Urex says I found you first. Oh man! Right, I'm gonna go hide. What? Who's that? I'm gonna go answer the door. Hello? Hey there! I'm here to pick up my son Richard! Okay. Richard, your dad's here! Oh, thank God! Thanks for picking me up, Dad. It's so poor here! My allergies were acting up. Oh, and by the way, Junior, I accidentally clogged your toilet. Sorry. But you clogged my toilet? Wait, you clogged his toilet? Yeah, I accidentally used too much money when I was wiping. Too much money when you were wiping? You know you're only supposed to use one bill at a time? Show me! Alright, right this way. See, Dad? There it is. That is it, mister! You are grounded! Grounded? For what? You know you're only supposed to use one bill when you wipe, and you're wiping like we have endless amounts of money! Which we do, but you need to learn the value of money, so I think you need to get a job! A job? You poor! Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna get you a job, and I think you need to work at McDonald's! McDonald's? You poor people food! Now you get over here and let me smack those stupid AirPods out of your stupid head. Come here. Come on. Give me the other side. Come on. All right. You'll get those AirPods back when you've earned them. Now let's go to McDonald's. Welcome to your first day at McDonald's. How you feeling? Poor. Exactly. That's how we all feel until we start making $15 an hour. Then we'd be lower middle class. Well, how much am I making now? $8.45 an hour. $845 an hour? That's not too bad. No, 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 my silly white boy. $8.45. Ew, poor. Exactly. Let me show you the food layout. See, we got hamburgers right here, nuggets there, french fries, lettuce, and tomatoes. See, all this stuff was already made yesterday, okay? We just leave it out to give it flavor. And this stuff right here is the stuff people return. See, we just keep passing out the window till somebody accepts it. Now let me show you how to make a burger. On a traditional burger, you got meat, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. See, I know that's a lot, but I got a song to help you remember. First you add the meat, then you add the cheese, don't forget the lettuce, then you add tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. You've got to be kidding me. No, 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 it's very catchy. Come on, sing it with me. First you add the meat, then you add the cheese, don't forget the lettuce, then you add tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. I'm not singing that poor song. Do you want to get paid? <sighs> Yeah. Come on, sing it with me. First, First you add the meat, then, then you add the cheese. Don't, don't forget the lettuce, then you add tomatoes. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Yeah. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. White boy got real. Ketchup, mustard. Somebody at the drive-thru. Okay, get ready to make a sandwich, and don't forget the song. All right. All right. Oh, uh, hello. I'm ready to order. <sighs> Another one. Hey, hey, don't be throwing bananas in my drive-thru. Uh, I'm ready to order. What you want? Uh, can I get uh? Drop fresh, a large fry with no salt, also drop fresh with salt packets in the bag, a plain cheeseburger, and an ice cream cone. Ah, uh, ice cream machine, bro. Mm hmm, of course it is. Well, then in that case, I'll just take Kool Aid to drink. Man, we don't sell Kool Aid, we only got high C. Oh, I can see that you high, because your ice cream machine always broke. Look, is that all you want, ma'am? Yeah. All right, your total is 1738. All right, you accept EBT? No. You accept Food Styles? No. Hmm. Can I get your discount? Look, it's my, it's my discount, ma'am. Look, look, can you please pull up for so we can get your food? I ain't pulling up for There ain't nobody behind me. Oh, my God. Look, look, I'll have your food in a minute, ma'am. And they want $15 an hour. Yeah, you slam that window. All right, Rashad, what we have? My name's Richard. Listen, Rashad, I'm trying to teach you something. Look, what we have here is what we call a bad customer. You can tell from a mile away. It's a dead giveaway. You can tell by the... By the color, the color of their car. Their car? Yeah, yeah, she was driving a red car. People who drive red cars are always mad. Something about the color red. But uh, do you know what we do to bad customers? What? <laughs> Ew, poor! Uh, yeah, exactly. Now she wanted a burger and some nuggets and fries dropped. So can you drop them on the ground and take 10 minutes doing it? She also wanted an ice cream cone, but uh, we always tell the customers that the ice cream machine is broken. To be honest with you, we don't even have an ice cream machine. I don't even know why it's on the menu. But uh, get to making her food, and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. What do I do again? 
Oh, oh yeah, the saw. Uh, something about the meat. Then you grab some nuggets. How about some fries? Don't forget the tomatoes. Uh, ketchup, 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 ketchup. All right, I'm done. Let me see how you did. Boy, what, what is this? It's a cheeseburger. The song, boy, the song. I sing the song. You got a lot to learn. Let me just wrap this up and give it to her. Okay. What take you so long? Hey, what I told you about throwing bananas in my drive through Look, look, here's your food, ma'am. My food hit the ground. I'm gonna need you to make me some more. Look, I'm not making another burger for you, lady. Well, I also had nuggets and fries. Look, just have a good day, okay? Let me speak to your manager. I am the manager. All right, then, well, let me speak to the owner. Look, if you want to talk to the owner, how about you call old McDonald himself? He lives on the farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well, I'll do you one better. I'll call Mayor McCheese. Well, call Mayor McCheese, then. All right, this ain't the last you heard of me, and they want $15 out. Get out of my drive through lady. I'm leaving. I'm leaving, and I'm going to take my banana, too. <sighs> All right, Randy. I want you to work the drive-thru because I am scripts. How do I do that? Oh, it's super simple. They're gonna pull up to the window. You say what real mean because it's inconvenient for you to take their order even though you work here. Now, they're gonna give you their order. You make sure you get it wrong because we want them to come back. They're gonna say they're not gonna come back, but we're McDonald's. We got dollar burgers and we're open 24 seven. So uh, go to the window and get to working. My name is Richard. Come on, Randy, just go to the window. <sighs> okay. God. All right, work in the drive-thru. At least I don't have to touch that poor people food. Can I have some food? Ew, did you sneeze on the window? Mm -mm, I'm hungry. Oh, you're hungry? Well, do you have money? No. Well, then what are you going to give me for food? Tomato. Ew, I don't want your poor tomato. We don't accept tomatoes here. I'm, I'm hungry. Well, shoot, get out of here. Shoot. Ew, poor. Ugh. Raymond, did I just see you spray Windex at one of our customers? Yeah, because he was poor. <sighs> Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. Look, all of our customers are poor. You just can't spray them with Windex, though. How about we have the perfect conversation you're supposed to have at the window? You be the driver, I'll be me. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. In my Lamborghini. Whatever. <sighs> what do you want? Why aren't you at Burger King? Why are you ordering here? Can I get a cheeseburger? A cheeseburger? <sighs> Windex is right down the street. All right, just pull up to the next window. See, it's that simple. See, now, you don't have to spray people with Windex, okay? Yeah, let's forget my order wrong. And you want $15 out. You know what, go, go ahead of the burgers, I got this. Did you just throw something at me? Mm-hmm. I bought a tomato from a homeless man because I ran out of bananas. What do you want from me, lady? I just want my order right because my booger had nuggets of fries on it. Ain't that what you wanted? No, I wanted it all separately. You know what, look, here's your tomato back. All right, scram, lady. Oh, and you want $15? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. $15 an hour. Oh, all right, Ryan. I don't know how much longer I can work here. Me either. Look, I'm dreaming of bigger and better things. Right? Like working at Chick-fil-A. But see, the customers here, it's so annoying. And poor. That too. Oh, another one. Oh. What do you want? And can you please stop honking your horn? Hey. I stole my dad's car because he wouldn't bring me to get a Happy Meal. Cool, cool, cool. What do you want? Uh, can I get a cheeseburger Happy Meal with three toys? Uh, the Happy Meal only come with one toy. Well, I want three toys. You only get in one toy. How about three toys? It comes with one toy. Three toys! One toy! Three toys! Okay! Okay! <laughs> All right, Robbie, we got another bad customer at the drive-thru. You know how I knew? Because of the color of the car? Exactly. The color of the car was red, so you know he's going to be mean. And he wanted a Happy Meal with three toys. Look, this ain't Toys R Us. I'm not giving him all them toys. You know what we're going to do to his food? We're going to spit in the food? Bingo. You're learning, Robbie. Okay, so uh, fix the food and remember the song, okay? Okay. All right, the song. Uh, sometimes there's meat, bunch of bunch of cheese, lot of lot of lettuce, uh, a couple chicken nuggets, maybe a few tomatoes, um, ketchup, 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 and maybe the whole thing. Uh, mustard, 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 mustard. Uh, okay, that looks good. All right, it's ready. Let me check the Happy Meal and see how you did. Wait, Rachel, you're not supposed to give them all the ketchup and mustard. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, let me get them a drink. Yeah. Where's my Happy Meal? Oh, here's your Happy Meal with the three toys. Oh, thank you. You're not welcome. Baby.
All right, Rufus, I'm gonna end your shift early today since it's your first day. What does that mean? That means you get to go home. Oh, thank God. Chives, come pick me up in the helicopter. All right, I'm gonna get your check and then you can go home, okay? How much money did I make? Well, you only worked for like 10 minutes, so uh, you made about 75 cents. Ew, poor. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Oh, Dad, I'm back from work. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ew, you smell poor! I know, but I got paid. Hold on, let me see that. 75 cents. Congratulations, you've made enough money to buy three gumballs. Oh, Dad, I have a confession to make. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to work at poor restaurants anymore. And, and I'll even wipe my butt with 20s. Listen, son, you don't have to wipe your butt with 20s. That would be a disgrace to the Goodman name. We only wipe our butts with hundreds. But the fact that you said that you would wipe your butt with 20s shows that you appreciate money now. So let's go home and get out of this weird poor person's house. Oh, thank you, Dad. I love you so much. I love you too, son. Let's go.